Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Muhammad, Kakodash, Brakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, then you are an Israelite, right? If you can perceive it through the spirit, as well as I want to give peace and blessings to you few Aquaf, which is your sisters and you children that believe on the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, it's the brother Karatazah. And I'm going to... uh I'm back, Lord willing, with another uh, video epistle, and Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it, and this is going to be dealing with um, vengeance, all right, and being, you know, carnal, which we're spiritual, we're not carnal, okay? Uh, those of us in this truth, we know that we have to lean towards the spiritual than the carnal, all right? And the reason why I'm going to bring up these scriptures is because... You know, brothers have been circulating this video, all right, uh, about this one camp who said that if they see the police pull someone over, they're going to jump out on the police and they're going to uh, police the police, but with guns, all right? Hey, with guns, man, with Esau's blessing, all right? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shai, he didn't tell us to do that, all right? So I have a scripture pulled up on here, this uh, good Zephaniah uh, chapter 3 in verse 8, but a precept just came to me. I got some precepts written down, but a precept just came to me that I don't have uh, written down, and it's going to be in the book of um, Corinthians, all right? And I want to grab that real quick. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to remember if it's in... Uh, 1 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians, and it's the uh, con, con, con. I didn't even have this scripture uh, written down. But uh, we're going to go here to the book of, let me see here, 2 Corinthians. All right, chapter 10, and we're going to start at, uh, ver we'll start at verse 3. All right, and it reads, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down some, cast, so like in verse 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, all right, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, so, A, verse 4 says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, because, A, we're, spirit, we're spiritual soldiers, all right, and the weapons of our warfare aren't carnal. Guns and knives and going on the offensive to attack, no. Those of us in Great Millstone know uh, damn well that that's not what this is about, all right? This is a spiritual thing. All we need is the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shai. All right. We need uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shai, to protect us. Okay. Um, so, and, you know, just if you, like the elder Demashapat said the other day in the video that I watched of his, hey, if you got a rifle, hey, you got a rifle. In your house, all right, to protect your home. I'm not saying at all not to protect yourself, all right? And if my life was being threatened right now and I felt that I was going to be, uh, you know, put away, then I would, uh, one second, I can't hold on. Okay, so like about that, I thought somebody was knocking at the door. Then by all means, hey, I mean, hey, that's law that's lawful, all right? But we're not to go on the offensive and attack. 
so we got scriptures to prove that, all right? So this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, and verse 8. This odie but goodie, and it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right. So the Lord said, wait upon him. All right. We can't do shit to this devil. All right. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is using them as a whooping stick over us Israelites. All right. There's nothing we can do about it, but uh, keep the faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and pray to him. All right, we can't beat this devil with his own weapon. So with that, we're going to go to our next precept, and we're going to go into the book of Proverbs. Um, let me see here. This is going to be the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, and verse 22. And I'm highlighted. And it reads, Say not thou, I will recompense evil. But wait on the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall save thee. All right. So at that camp, the guy that was speaking, he was like, yeah. And I'm just uh, paraphrasing him. Yeah. When we see the police, he, he was naming off like uh, Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman, uh, Tamir Rice. All right. Uh, and he was saying that we're going to police the police. But that, that, that would be the wrong move to make. All right. Hey. When the police, what does the scripture tell us in the book of St. Matthews? Uh, agree with thine adversary immediately, all right, before you're delivered to the officer and you're delivered, roughly paraphrasing, uh, to jail, man, all right? Um, so with that, we're going to uh, read this again. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 22. Say not thou, I will recompense evil. But wait on the Lord Yahweh, and he shall save thee. Hey, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 8 said, wait upon the Lord. All right. So with that, we're going to grab another precept. And this time, we're and it's just, it's a reiteration of the book of, uh, what we just got in the book of Proverbs. This is going to be the book of 1 Thessalonians. All right. Uh, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5 and verse uh, 15. Um, let me see here. It reads, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men. All right? Hey, this, them guys were out there preaching, and they were telling uh, fellow Israelites the wrong thing. All right? Hey, I remember when I first, uh, which I'm still fresh in this knowledge, of the word of the Heavenly Father, you about Shem Al Shai. I had that carnal, uh, militant spirit upon me. All right, but I can honestly say that, hey, the he that the Heavenly Father took that spirit off of me, man. Hey, I was ready. I was I was preaching, and also at the same time, I was ready to dot somebody in their eye or their nose if they, uh, you know, came up to the camp. On some BS, which, but it was unnecessary. Hey, brothers always say, man, keep it spiritual, all right? When you out there prophesying and preaching, man, hey, even in a uh, life period, all right, keep it spiritual. So with that, I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to read this again. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 15. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men. Now, let's go here and get a precept. We're going to go here to the book of Romans in the New Testament. All right. Um, let me see here. Romans chapter 12. We're going to grab verses 18 and 19. All right. And it reads, if it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. All right, we're not supposed to be going on an offensive and attack. Hey, we're not in them times. Hey, that's over with. All right, hey, the Lord, yeah, he gonna get. We have to wait upon him 
to even receive spiritual powers, all right, to be getting busy, all right? And we have to wait on that. Ver this Romans chapter 12, verse 18 again. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. And Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, he gonna re it start with him. All right, and it start with him sending his son Yahweh Shai back, who's at his right hand. All right, to do the uh, to kick things off. So, so with that, I'm gonna grab one more precept, and we can close out. We're gonna go into the apocrypha, uh, and this is gonna be the book of Sirach, uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter twenty-eight and verse one, and we go straight to the point. Let me hi highlight it. Uh, let me move this down. I'm going to use this blue. It reads, He that revengeth shall find vengeance from the Lord, and he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. All right? So, hey, to the you cats, and you could tell, man, hey, little brothers through the spirit, we could tell that uh, it be these new new guys, all right? That then took, like brother said, a little piece here, a little, a little from this camp, a little from that camp, and came up with their own thing. All right, we, hey, you guys, this is not a fad, man. This shit is so like it. This is not shit, but with this work that we do coming to this knowledge, this is real. This ain't about uh how many views you can get and having people say, "Ooh, ah, that brother, he can uh." He know how to break down this scripture. He know how to break. No, man, this is a serious job that we doing, man. All right? This ain't no joking or laughing matter. This ain't about views. This ain't about being popular. The Lord said, uh, warn his people. Warn my sheep. And those of us that have woken up to, to this, that's what we're to do. And we're to tell them the truth, man. We're not to, supposed to be sending our people out on no damn dummy missions, man. All right, we're supposed to be telling them the truth of these scriptures and what they're to do. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, this, uh, like I said, uh, this video is, is edifying to those of you who may come across it. And the word edify means to build up, man. All right, hopefully, I, I and, we, and we're to keep it plain and plain, man, use plain words. All right, hey, so hopefully it was that. You know, if it's the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shimei Shai. So with that, once again, I want to say, call her law, Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wahweh, Kakodash, Barakatam, which is what I said in the Paleo Hebrew, is, uh, call her law, which is, uh, I want to give all praises to the, uh, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly calls God, Bahashim, Ba in Ha, the Shem name. Of his son Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, by Hashem, in the name of the Rakakwadash, uh, Holy Spirit, Barakatham, bless you. All right, once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. All right, doing hella edifying videos. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations. To all of you, I came across the four corners of the globe because we have been scattered across the four corners of the globe. We're going to come looking like every other nation. All right. And I want to give a sincere peace, blessings and salutations to you. All right. As as, as well as you, Aquaf, and you children that believe on the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. So with that, I want to say a ball, ba ball, and shalom.